could really use a cup of coffee. I was up really late looking for journal articles for our group project on depression. Awesome! I haven't started looking for journal articles yet, and I think we're supposed to bring some printouts to class today. Before we get coffee, let's look real quick at what you found. Okay, well I thought it would be interesting to focus part of our presentation on postpartum depression. You know, how someone get really sad after they have a baby? Did you find anything? I did. I remembered that Brooke Shields really suffered from this condition and even wrote a book about it. I searched the Academic Search Premier Periodical Database and found a really good article about her experience. She describes how postpartum depression affects some women, how it is biochemical in nature, and what kind of treatment worked for her. Hmm, that looks interesting, but didn't our instructor tell us that we had to find articles from scholarly academic journals? Well, yeah, but I found this article in the library database, Academic Search Premier, so I think it's okay. Huh, well, I don't know. At our library orientation, the librarian said, Academic Search Premier has articles from scholarly journals and from popular magazines. You were listening to all of that? Well, yeah, I guess I was. Let's look at this citation. The source is a magazine, Good Housekeeping. My dentist office gets that. The librarian showed us a magazine and a journal, and she made some comparisons between them. Now, I remember that magazines usually have short articles written for general readers, while journals, journals, uh, what did she say? Scholarly journals are usually published by an academic body, like a university press, and are often published quarterly or bimonthly. Unlike magazines, they aren't glossy and full of illustrations and advertisements. It can be hard to recognize a scholarly article online when you can't take a look at the whole journal, but these articles usually have an abstract or summary of the article and a bibliography or list of works cited. Scholarly journal articles are usually written by the original researchers to disseminate the results of their research to the rest of the community in that field. Oh yeah, I remember that now. She also said something about, what was it, some kind of review process with referees? Scholarly journal articles are also distinct from magazine articles in that they go through a process called peer review, where other experts critically examine the article to be sure it is up to standards for publication in the field. Peer-reviewed journals are also called refereed or juried. Right, and wasn't there some way we could limit our results in Academic Search Premier to only see articles from scholarly, peer-reviewed journals? Yes, yes, like this. We'll revise our search and limit to only full-text articles and to only peer-reviewed articles. And I guess we'll get Brooke out of there. These articles look much more like it. This one, from the Journal of Child and Adolescent Psychiatric Nursing, has an abstract summarizing the research the authors did and their outcomes. And if you look at the full text, there's a bibliography at the end. Well, let's go back to our results list and print out a couple of good articles. You know, I think Brooke looks pretty proud of us. Yeah, and we still have time for coffee before class.